Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about the bad side of iOS 16. You've probably seen a ton of iOS 16 videos on my channel, most of them containing new features and changes, hidden features, tricks and everything else that you need to know regarding iOS 16. But not everything is actually really good iOS 16 is actually one of the worst betas that I have installed on my device when it comes to major iOS releases. Now I'm not complaining, I know what I signed up for when I decided to install this software on my device. I know this is a beta software, it has a lot of changes so you can expect a lot of bugs and of course a lot of problems, but this is actually way worse than the previous betas that I have installed on my device starting from iOS 7 until iOS 16. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about and why you should be aware of this. Now first of all, the main reason behind this video is that next week Apple will most likely release the first public beta of iOS 16 and I believe a lot of iOS users will want to update their device and try out the cool new features of iOS 16 but the reason for this video is to warn them not to install it immediately even though it's the third beta, the third dev beta and the first public beta and it should be quite stable there will be probably a lot of problems that are currently on iOS 16 beta 2 which will still be on iOS 16 beta 3 so even though that gets released wait for a few days and see the reviews before you install it on your device especially if you try to install it on your main device now here are some things that i believe make this one of the worst betas to install on your device first of all is battery drain now this happened to me yesterday i took screenshots here so you can see just the iphone was just turned off you can see right here it says on screen three minutes off screen 50 minutes you can see the battery drain right there it probably was at like 40 some percent and it just dropped at uh, like 14 percent all that you can see on the home screen and lock screen this says home screen and lock screen and you can see the details right here what it says so the activity in one hour it just drained the battery without me doing anything the phone was on sleep i wasn't doing anything on the phone so you can see it says home screen and lock screen and then it says weather background clock background now these are the things basically the widgets that i have enabled on the lock screen of my device the weather widget and of course the clock there as well and i believe these are the ones that are draining the battery because they're constantly working even though the iphone is on sleep so this is really really bad so you can see right here 50 minutes off screen and it just drained the battery out of my iphone and this has happened a lot of times now it won't happen every day it won't happen all the time but sometimes it's just the app basically the widgets i think keep the apps running in the background or something like that but they just drain the battery even though your iphone might be just on sleep now the next thing is overheating your iphone on ios 16 even though on beta 2 will overheat a lot and i believe on beta 2 is much worse based on my experience here on the iphone 12 pro max ios 16 beta 2 it's worse on beta 2 than it was on beta 1. you can see right here this has happened to me a lot so this is a screenshot i took yesterday of my device and you can see right here the flashlight is disabled that due to the device being overheated and i wasn't doing anything on the device i was just charging the device and it just overheated so you can see right there the device was charging and right here while it's charging it has actually disabled the flashlight completely because it needs to cool down before you can use the flashlight so this happens a lot especially when you're charging your device that will happen a lot and it sometimes it will even interrupt the charging of the device so the iphone will stop charging and wait for the device to actually cool down before it can continue charging the device that's really really bad and it hasn't been fixed on beta 2 in my opinion as i said overheating might just be even worse on beta 2. moving on to what's of course the biggest feature of ios 16 the new lock screen now this is a nightmare right here if you're trying to customize a lock screen here better do it quick because in like 20 to 25 seconds your device will really overheat a lot and it will just 
start like glitching and the device won't work as it should so of course you will have a really really hard time customizing the lock screen of your device the way you want it to it's really not that good it hasn't been improved with beta 2 at all this was a big bug on ios 16 beta 1 with beta 2 is still the same you cannot just freely take your time to actually customize a lock screen here it will just overheat your device a lot and of course it will start glitching right here so it's actually not been better with beta 2 at all the next thing are the notifications when you get notifications especially new ones most of the times they won't work if i tap here on the notification it actually just won't open at all now sometimes i tap the notification it doesn't do anything at all and then when i unlock my device it opens the notification and sometimes it just won't work won't do anything at all of course it doesn't happen all the time but it will happen quite a few times during the day Another thing is the device and the stock apps of the device being unresponsive. This happens especially if you reboot your device. If you reboot your device on iOS 16 and this has happened on beta 1, it's happening on beta 2, you will notice that it will take the device probably three to four minutes in order for it to just start working normally. Like things like right here, the app library wouldn't load the apps at all apps that you want to use maybe the weather app or iMessage just won't load at all and will have a really hard time working after reboot so just notice that if you just reboot your device you will have the problem wait for a few minutes in order for the device to be back to normal and of course the same goes for third party apps not a lot of apps of course are now updated to work with iOS 16 so a lot of popular apps might not work as they should and of course some features of those apps might not work as they should because of course they have not been yet updated to work with iOS 16. And the next thing I don't really like about iOS 16 is that it doesn't have dark mode wallpapers or they just not working. So the stock wallpaper right here of iOS 16, you can see we can switch between the light and the dark mode, you still have the exact same wallpaper. I don't know if this is a glitch or they just haven't added a dark mode wallpaper on iOS 16, but it doesn't work. Even though, of course, this is not a big problem. We can live without this, but it's just good to know for users that light and dark mode wallpapers won't actually work on your iOS 16 device. So that is it for this video guys, these are some of the biggest problems that you will face on your device running iOS 16. I know again this is a beta, I'm not complaining about these problems, these are things that you can expect to happen on a beta and of course on a big release like iOS 16 with a lot of new features and changes all across the board. The main reason behind this video as I said at the beginning is just to keep people aware of the problems that you might face once you update your device to iOS 16 even though it might not be your main device or even if it's your main device make sure that you know what you're signing up for before you get into all these problems and of course with the next week we have probably beta, the public beta again released a lot of people will want to update to that so better be aware of what you're doing and wait for a few days before you see reviews of ios 16 beta 3 and of course the public beta in order to know whether it's worth updating to ios 16 or not so that's pretty much it for this video guys don't forget to subscribe for more videos leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one